Hello everyone, Kenny from Bone Cutter Recipes. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I have my uh, this Moorcraft knife. It's a carbon steel. It's one of my uh, bushcrafting knives. I used it about uh, three months ago on a backpacking trip. But it's uh, it's starting to rust pretty bad. And uh, I want to pre-patina it with uh, a mustard and uh, vinegar. So what, what I did is on the stove I prepared a little uh, vinegar. I warmed it up. Um, you can either... Uh, Pour uh, a whole glass of vinegar, or I'm just gonna do it inside here. The knife sheath, taking an old uh, candle. I warmed up some. Uh, there's a hole in the bottom. It's a drain hole. Um, I warmed up some uh, apple cider vinegar on the stove already, just to like a on medium. I don't like boiling it. I'm filling this up to at least here because I know that's where the end of the blade will be. I'm going to put the knife in there. Hopefully, I can get that to balance. All right, I'm going to let that sit there for. Oops, I'm going to let that sit in here for ten minutes. There we go. I'm going to let that sit in there for ten minutes, and then when I take it out, the blade should be a lot darker, and it start to patina, and then we'll put a mustard wash on it. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Um, I should say the longer you uh, the longer you, you keep it in the vinegar, the darker your steel will turn. Now this doesn't really work with stainless steels. This is a carbon steel it works good with, and probably a, a like tool steel like uh, um, D2. So, anyways, you can I don't know if you can see it. Let me wipe it. Get that off. It's starting to turn. It's not as shiny. It's starting to turn a dark gray. So now we put the vinegar or put the mustard on. Now what the mustard is going to do? It's going to leave the, the first wash. We could keep this in here and just make it a dark blade, and it's going to protect the steel. That's the purpose of doing this. So now, but for design, we're going to take mustard and put like stripes on it, or you can put saw teeth on it, or whatever. And the longer you sit, let the mustard sit on it, the darker it will turn. So the first, the vinegar wash was our uh, coat, our like base coat. And now, if I can do it, nice. I'm going to try to put stripes on it. Let me get that out of the way. So there's my first one. If you mess up, just wash it. You know, wipe it off your finger or a napkin or anything you want. This is totally decorative. Well, it helped protect, but this part is your just your design. So now I'm going to let this sit like this um, on, for 10 minutes and then wash it off and then whatever it is. Actually I'm going to leave it 15 minutes to hopefully be a little darker and then uh, I'll wash it off and let's see what we get. Okay it's been 15 minutes with mustard on. Uh, let's see. Let's rinse it off and uh, Oh, look at that, how cool. Already cool. Alright, let me give this wipe right here. The rag. Can you see that? Yeah, that's sweet. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. Um, so. Make sure it's dry. Make sure we're doing it the right direction. Try to do it the same angle and not backwards. You know, Still with this carbon steel, it's a little bit more protected, but you're still going to have to keep it dry and 
every time you put it away. So there we go. Okay, another 15 minutes. Okay, it's been the 15 minutes. Let's uh, let's rinse this side off and see what we got. How cool is this? And I don't know if you could use a white vinegar too. They're both 5% acidity. So I don't know what the difference is. And I just looked at it. Can you see it? Pretty cool looking, huh? And then the other side. So that's all everyone. If you like, please subscribe. And uh, have a great day.